A few months ago, uh, Katie Wessel on The X Factor. She was on all the front pages, wasn't she? She was. A lot of uh, talk about Katie. And at the same time, another member of her family was also making headlines, but uh, for a very different reason. personal and kind of private matter so mm. I just separated that from the competition and I've kept my head held tight. Well here now fully clothed is Katie's grandmother Sheila Vogel Krupp. Sheila you saw the headlines there we've all read the stories the press said you were you are a prostitute you say you are no. not what what are you? I'm not a prostitute I'm an escort and uh, I go out with gentlemen, I, att I attend the opera with them or I go out for dinner with them, but I'm not, not a prostitute. But you do charge them, though? I do charge them, yes. But what do you charge yes. them for? I charge them for my time. What do you do during your time? And during my time, we may be sit and talk, we may go out for dinner, we may go to a cinema. And you may do other things. And we might do other things, yes. But does that not make you a prostitute? No, it doesn't. Why? Because I'm charging just for my time and I just don't feel that I'm a prostitute. Do you do anything off the meter? You know, it's like a taxi cab. I mean, do you, you know, yeah. do, they only, do they only get these services when they're paying? Or, I mean, if they were not paying, they... would you be as friendly with them yes. as you claim to yes. be? Yes, yes, I would be. Why mm. not? Why not? Um, I like the company of men because, you know, I've felt lonely. Why would you pose in your skimpies there? Um, for the for those uh, magazines and newspapers and things is that what escorts do yes yes just to show people that you know I can be quite sexy mm -hmm. and I enjoy it and I'm not ashamed of what I do y you're obviously not ashamed of what you do and you're here mm -hmm. to talk about it um, but it seems to be your family are um, and seems quite embarrassed and now you really don't speak to them um, did they know what you did before this all came out during Katie's time on The X Factor? Or is this something that they've only just discovered? No, about? they didn't know anything about it. And it's not me not talking to them. Uh, yes, it must have been a shock to them. But they were very, very judgmental, um, I think. And they decided that they weren't going to talk to me. But um, unfortunately, um, they all... they. The family disowned me now, except for one of my daughters, Josie, and my grandson, Danny, who were not so judgmental. Can you understand why they're so upset? That it, uh, it's not something you, you really ever expect to find out about your grandparent no, or probably approval? No, no, I agree. But it, it, it's circumstances that's actually brought this to light, because if these circumstances hadn't happened, um, this would never have come about. How, how did it happen? Did someone blow the whistle on yeah. you? Yeah. I got stitched up by News of the World reporter, mm -hmm. unfortunately. And uh, this is how they were... How so it they had no, your family had no idea? No, this they had no idea. Your... No, well, that's a bit of a surprise, time. isn't it? My mum's the same age as you. Yeah. So she is. And I actually, there's things I, you wouldn't want to find out, basically, by, by and large. But, uh, you see, I just wonder, do people object to so much about what you do, or are they objecting to your age and you doing what you do? Do you think that's um, what it is? No, I think it's... Yeah, pro probably. It's my age and what I do. And I think... Actually, I think I'm quite unique at uh -huh. my age to do what I do. Incidentally, let's follow up on that. Is she unique at her age and doing what she does? Email us this morning, if you can, at 82. And, or 83, you'd have to be to beat you. Um, so yeah. so let, let's find out about um, that this morning. And Sheila, why do you do what you do? How did you start? You know, how, Why did you become an escort in the first I, place? I started because I live on my own and uh, I felt I was feeling lonely. I, I do feel lonely. I've had two marriages, two very happy marriages. Unfortunately, they both died of illnesses, and it upset me very much. 
And then um, I'm, on my, I'm on my own in my flat and I'm thinking, well, you know, I would like to have a bit of male company. I've always enjoyed male company right from a little girl. But then people would say, well, why don't you join a bowling club or and go, go on an art course? You yeah. can meet nice gentlemen who would still take you out for dinner and take you to the opera. Yes, but that's not quite me. I'm a little more, a bit more outgoing. I think than that. Than well, very, than that. very much more out. Yes, <laughs> yes. You're so outgoing. Uh, you starred in an adult video called "The Great British Granny Bang," which is not one I have in my collection. But um, I mean, that's. I mean, that's well, pretty. I'm glad you didn't have that in your collection because this is something that I, I think. I think there are times we all do things we, we regret what we've done, right? And I shouldn't have done it, and I'm not happy mm. about doing it, and I just don't want to sure. remember it. What about Katie? What, what effect do you think this has had on Katie's life and her career? Do you think you cost her the X Factor? No, I don't. Not at all. I don't think it cost her the X Factor. Um, I think, if anything, because this has all happened, this is what's happened to me. Uh, What's it cost you? It's cost me a lot. It's cost me my family. What would you say to that family uh, watching today? You've tried to explain to us why you do what you do. Yeah. And I, I presume you would still like to be close um, the older you get to your family. And let's face it, everybody needs the family as they yeah, get older. Yeah, exactly. What would you say to them this morning? Well, I mean, I would say to them this morning, I love you all. They can't get away from the fact that I'm their mother and I'm their grandmother and I'm a great-grandmother and I love them all. And I would just like... To, uh, we're coming into the new year. I would like to see one happy family. I would like to see them all talking to each other and being happy together, not bickering with each other and not, you know, complaining. Mm. And I would like eventually to feel that they will talk to me and they will give me the chance to explain. If to that them. meant if for, for them to do that, if they asked you to stop doing what you're doing, would you do that that's to get my, your family back together? That's my private life, and I don't think that my private life has anything to do, really, with them. I really don't. But, but it has if you're someone like Katie, uh, it, doesn't it? Because you, do you think you've disgraced her? No, I don't. I don't. Because this has all started... It's all, Katie joined the X Factor. And, you know, um, she went on, they went on, they went to the press. They so rather than you affecting her and ruining her career, yeah. has she ruined your career? She's, yeah, absolutely. She has ruined my career. OK, Granny. Yeah, I'm afraid she has. But she I still wish her well. I, I would like to say this, I love them all. And I wish her well and I love her. And it breaks my heart to see, you know, my family being split up like this. And I just would ask them not to be so judgmental to me. OK. okay. Uh, well, you've made your case today, Sheila. Thank you very much indeed uh, for talking to us. And we'll see what reaction we get to that. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.